I'm sure you've eaten beans and corns. They taste different, right? But this, this is not the only difference between beans and corns. What are the other differences? Let us look into it. While bean is kidney shaped, corn is shield shaped. So this is the first difference between bean and corn. Bean is kidney shaped and corn is shield shaped. If you cut open a bean, you will see the seeds are separated from the covering. These are the seeds of a bean. But if you see a corn, the seed and the covering remains fused together. So this is the second difference between bean and corn. This is a bean seed. This is a corn seed. See, both of them grow into a new plant. So from here, we can say that both these seeds have an embryo. So this is the first similarity between bean and a corn. And that is, both of them have an embryo inside which grows into a new plant. Now, how would you determine the location of embryo within the seed? These are bean seeds, these are corn. Now, notice this white curved structure. This is known as the hilum and it is the embryo marker of the bean. That is, it is over here that the embryo is located. In case of a corn, see the embryo marker, this whitish thing, this is the embryo marker. It is almost centrally located. See, in case of a bean, the embryo is present at the embryo marker which is known as the hilum. The white structure is the hilum and the embryo is present here. In case of a corn, the embryo is present at the embryo marker which is centrally located. See, this is the embryo. So this forms the next similarity between beans and corns. Both of them have embryo markers where the embryo is located inside the seed. This is a bean seed. Now beans have an extra inner layer of protection known as the tegmin. The tegmin protects the embryo in the bean seed. In case of a corn, there is no extra protection for the endosperm, but there is extra protection for the embryo. See, the structure that protects the shoot forming part of the embryo is known as coleoptile this part. And the structure that provides protection to the root forming part of the embryo is known as coleoriza. This part. See, both of them are shaped like this hat. So, this is a difference between the bean and the corn. 
whereas the tegmin provides protection to both the embryo and the endosperm. The coleoptile provides protection only to the shoot forming part and the coleoriza provides protection to the root forming part of the embryo. Endosperm is that part of a seed which stores food and provides nourishment to the growing embryo. Seeds which have endosperm is known as endospermic seed and seeds that do not have an endosperm is known as non-endospermic seed. So, beans are non-endospermic seeds and corns are endospermic seeds. Seeds where there is no endosperm, the cotyledon stores the food and provides nourishment to the growing embryo. See, in case of a bean where there is no endosperm, the cotyledon takes the maximum space inside the seed. This is the cotyledon. But in case of a corn, which is an endospermic seed, cotyledon takes the minimum space. This is the cotyledon. So beans are non-endospermic seed and corns are endospermic seed. We know that cotyledon forms the first leaf of a plant. This is a corn plant, this is a bean plant. By looking at the picture, can you tell me how many cotyledons are present in their seed? Yes. Beans have two cotyledons. One, two. Whereas corns have only one cotyledon. This is the cotyledon of a corn. There is only one cotyledon in the corn. So cotyledon number is the first leaf number. We saw that the bean plant had two leaves which indicated the presence of two cotyledons and the corn plant had one new leaf which indicated that it has only one cotyledon. So this is the next difference between beans and corns and that is bean is a dicot seed. Di means two and cot comes from the word cotyledon. Corn is a monocot seed. Mono means one and cot comes from the word cotyledon.